Our study this week is on justice and mercy in the Old Testament, part two. Last week we were just across the road looking at the Parliament of Serbia. Across the street we have what is the old King's Palace and is now basically City Hall for the city of Belgrade. Again, a very symbolic place to do with administration and law, dealing with ideas of justice. And yet, our ideas of justice, as I've said before, are often rather warped and twisted because we are primarily thinking about retribution and vengeance, whereas God is looking to set things right. That's the sense of justice, righteousness, rather than this uh, retributive sense and also combined very much with mercy. That's why the title is Justice and Mercy in the Old Testament part two. And we're given two very interesting chapters in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37 and Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 37 is the parable story of the dry bones that come to life, the life-giving righteousness of God, the rightness of God, I even want to say, that gives life because everything is right. And then in Ezekiel 47, we have this image of the river, a river of mercy, if you want, or even a river of justice, because I believe you shouldn't separate those things coming from God because God is always seeking to do what is right. Through Ezekiel, we have this image of God seeking to bring right out of everything. The problem is there is so much misunderstanding of God's judgment. Judgment in our society, in our legal system, is either to be guilty or not guilty. You either are guilty of the crime or you are not. There is no, how could you put it, justification of being right. You are not proved right, it's just that, well, we can't prove you guilty. And in God's judgment, it's a very different kind of idea, a very different kind of vindication. Because in the end, in the great controversy, what is this all about? It's about God being judged. Is he right? Is he true? Is he fair? He's been charged of being unjust, unrighteous. But God, through his demonstration, proves that he is both right and merciful and kind and loving and so on. So as we look at these verses here for this time, it's very much about God's rightness, his mercy flowing. You have the story there, as I mentioned, of Ezekiel 47, the river flowing. And then that carries over, of course, into Revelation, in Revelation 22, where you have the river of water of life flowing out of God's throne. A tremendous symbol of how God operates, of the fact that he wants to give us this abundant water of life. Jesus said, I am this water of life that bubbles up within you, this living water, as he said to the woman at the well. So I pray that as you study this week, as you think of what God is trying to say to us, that you'll concentrate on those ideas because God is really trying to get across the message about how he runs his universe and how we can be part of that. Let's share that with those around us. May God bless you as you do so.